What's up guys, this is Eric, I haven't done a movie review in a while, so I thought, you know, I should do one. It's been a while, I don't even remember what was my last one, I think it was my horror movie marathon. But anyways, I'm going to do one on Ted. Yes, I own it on Blu-ray because I'm just that goddamn cool. But anyways, so at first, honestly, I really, I, bleh, I really wasn't that excited to see Ted. I thought it was going to be stupid because I stopped watching Family Guy like a long time ago, my freshman year of high school, which was five years ago. I cannot believe it was that long ago. But anyways, I just really wasn't that excited because as I said, it, I stopped watching Family Guy because I got really tired of all the flashback jokes like Peter or Brian or some other character would say, oh, I remember the time when this happened and then it would show it happening. It's like, yeah, that was funny at first. But, god damn, it really got old after a while, so I got tired of it, so I stopped watching it. And yeah, um, and then this movie came out of nowhere, Ted, and I thought, you know, it looks average, and, and, and I thought, you know, <clears throat> it's probably going to get, like, average reviews, and it's probably going to make an average amount of money, people are going to forget about it, and nobody's going to give a shit about this movie. But I was really, really wrong. People gave a shit about the movie, and it made a ton of money. Supposedly, I heard that this made more money than The Hangover. And The Hangover, is, or was, the highest-grossing R-rated comedy of all time. And then it gets beat by a movie about a talking teddy bear. Who would ever think that would ever happen? Anyways, I... I still wasn't that excited to see the movie. Critics were critics were saying it was funny. All my friends were saying that it was funny. And I was like, hmm, maybe it'll be good. But I still just don't want to see any more flashback jokes. That's just gotten old. They're probably going to have that. They probably will. And I'm really tired of that. I'm really tired of it. So, it was in the theaters for a while. Me and one of my friends were going to go see The Amazing Spider-Man. I already seen it, but I wanted to see it again at the movie theater. But then, uh, he saw that Ted was still playing. And was and was playing at 5 o'clock. And movies here played at 5 o'clock. Only cost like $5. So yeah, we thought, hey, it's going to be cheaper if we go see Ted. And I thought, sure, if you really want to see Ted, fine, I'll go see it. And to my surprise, I was expecting to to think it was an average movie or hate it. But surprisingly, I loved this movie. I laughed my ass off. My god, I, I haven't laughed this hard during a movie in forever. The last time that I laughed this hard, I think it was probably Step Brothers. And that came out like five years ago, like my freshman year. And Tropic Thunder, those are the last two recent movies that made me laugh pretty damn good. So yeah, um, Ted, it was freaking funny. Now, if you live underneath a, a rock, Ted is about a little boy who makes a wish and, and his teddy bear comes, comes to life. And then years later, he grows up. He's engaged to Mila Kunis, who's really hot in this movie. Like, it's like, damn. And she voices a nerdy character in, and no wait, in Family Guy. Damn. Whoever is married to her is lucky. <laughs> but anyways, uh, and you, and uh, Mila Kunis wants Ted out. And but the thing is, that's one thing that I liked about this movie is that the chemistry between Mark Wahlberg. And Ted is fantastic. And that's kind of sad to some other movies that I have recently seen. That a movie about a talking teddy bear and a full grown man have better chemistry than, than most of the other movies that I've ever seen recently. It's because that you really truly feel for Mark Wahlberg and Ted. Like you, like you, like you really, really buy the fact that they are best friends. That's kind of crazy because it's a talking teddy bear and a full-grown man. <laughs> but that's just what makes it even funnier. And one thing that I liked about the movie is that 
so when Mark Wahlberg has like a little kid, um, like when he tells his parents like that Ted is alive, they are freaking out, and then Ted becomes a big celebrity, and they actually treat celebrities realistically. I like that like that they didn't have Ted like be a celebrity throughout the whole entire movie. I mean, yeah, he, I mean, he was, but the the thing about most celebrities. Most of them is that, well, they are all famous at first, but then the fame kind of dies down. And, and that's kind of what happens in uh, this movie, and I really, really like that. It makes it a lot more realistic. I mean, yeah, there are celebrities out there like who are still just as popular as how they were. Like, like Johnny Depp and all that, but I really, really like that. like that they did that in this movie. Now, the jokes. Now, there are some pop culture jokes which are going to make the movie outdated probably in a few years. But honestly, who gives a shit? Because it's actually pretty pretty funny. And uh, thank God there, there, like, there really weren't any of those stupid flashback jokes that I had been complaining about. So I was really happy about that. And, uh, and the thing about jokes is that is that they can't be predictable. That was the thing that I, that I didn't like about Grown Ups, was that the jokes were just too predictable, and y you could see it coming from, like, a mile away. But here, you don't expect it, and that just makes it even funnier. And it's self-aware about some things, and... And, yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Now, uh... Now, I might be giving away some spoilers of the movie, so if you haven't seen it, well, actually, spoilers of, of, of some of some jokes, so I don't want to ruin it for all the people who haven't seen it. So if you haven't seen it, shoo, watch the movie, laugh your ass off, and then come back here. I was surprised by some of the idiots on IMDb who was saying, oh, this movie's stupid, it's not funny because, well, that part, like, where he's... Where he's trying to get a job, and he's like, yeah, um, I like to have your wife's pussy in my face, and then he gets hired for that. Really? That's supposed to be funny? It's like, yeah, that's supposed to be funny, because it's unrealistic, and that's why it's so funny. Do you not have a sense of humor, bro? But yeah, um, and one thing that... One thing that I always thought is, you know, Ted sounds an awful like Peter Griffin. And I know why. It's because that it's voiced by the same guy, Seth MacFarlane. But I kind of thought that maybe Seth MacFarlane would have done a different voice. But there actually is a joke about that in the movie. It's actually self-aware. And, and it knows that it, that it sounds like Peter Griffin. But that just makes it even funnier. And even the music in this movie sounds like, sounds like something off of a family guy. So... In a way, Ted is kind of the live-action Family Guy movie. In a strange way. So, yeah. And, uh... One thing I gotta say about this movie is it's definitely not for everybody. Oh, God, no. It's definitely not for everybody. If you easily get offended by, say, sex jokes or people smoking weed... Personally, I'm not a big fan of weed. I, have, I haven't done it, but... I think it's pointless and it's and it's nasty. No offense to any of you who smoke weed. I think it's I think it's wrong. You shouldn't do it, but it's just funny just watching a teddy bear smoke weed. It's just funny. Because realistically that that really couldn't happen. And it's also uh kind of funny like how uh okay, another ruining a joke for the people who haven't seen it. That part, like, where Ted, like, has sex, like, with his co-worker, and then he gets promoted. <laughs> and it's just funny, because, well, Ted doesn't have a dick, so how could he fuck... <laughs> that just makes it even funnier. <laughs> it kind of seems like that Seth MacFarlane just got better at comedy. Or, or, or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, even thinking about this movie just makes me just want to laugh my ass off. In fact, probably after this, I'm going to watch it again and laugh my ass off. And then I'll probably wake up my parents and piss them off. And I'll say, don't blame me, blame Ted. Because it's freaking funny. <laughs> so at the end, this is going to be another spoiler. Ted gets torn up. 
and he's acting all retarded. Like, uh. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty funny. So, and then Ted has stitches, but then his stitches are gone. So I'm like, wait, how do they go? Where's the stitches? So I guess that's just a, a little plot hole. And I also love, like, how at the end, like, they just completely dissed on Superman Returns. <laughs> I totally wasn't expecting that. And then I didn't really see what that had to do with Super... Wait. And I didn't really see what Superman Returns had to do with Ted, but I guess that's why it's funny, because it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> so, yeah. I recommend this movie, but not to everybody. This movie's funny, and they're making a sequel, and I cannot wait. Because... This just has just so much potential for a, a series. So yeah, see you guys later. Stay cool and don't do drugs.